Hey y'all, this is my 2019 Badlands Film Festival entry that was actually denied inclusion. Tears, right? Uh, it's raw, it's real, it's in the moment. And see, I don't have thousands of dollars in expensive camera equipment or a professional crew. It's just me, a buddy, and a handheld video camera. So let's get 100,000 views in the first year on this video and let's show that the hunting community really wants to see videos like mine included in these film festivals. It, it's worth a watch and I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks. I picked up a bow for the first time in the spring of 2015. I found myself on the mountain that fall, the very first week of September, looking to harvest my first elk. And I was stunned when on my first day in the field and the first morning, I had an up close encounter with just a beautiful bull and failed to harvest. In 2016, I put a lot of miles on the boots, finally created an opportunity for a shot and missed. Last year, it was an early September snow that blanketed my hopes of harvesting my first elk. So this year, once again, I'll hike the mountain with bow in hand, but this time I've got a plan of 100% commitment no matter what. I even had my wife and little two-year-old girl pre-record some videos that I saved to my cell phone. And I was counting on these videos to lend me strength to fight moments of weakness so that dad could come home successful for the first time. You know, normally if you can say that you watched an elk out bow hunting hit the ground at seven yards, I think any bow hunter would be ecstatic about that. But this, uh, this just wasn't the elk I had in mind to hit the ground at seven yards. After playing cat and mouse with this bull we spotted, I was finally able to sneak into the opposite tree patch, looking for a shot through about a three yard window. And oh, does he ever smell me. <laughs> and there isn't a dang thing I can do about it, other than sit, watch, wait, and pray that he turns broadside. <coughs> We just had an experience of a lifetime putting stock on a bull that we blew out. Logan spent an hour on the bugle calling him back in with me circling around him multiple times, chased him around. 
I got a shot on him about 45 yards. It looked like it was an okay shot. We've got blood, but it's getting dark. We're marking the blood trail. And it's on the 15th anniversary of when my dad passed away. So we really hope we can recover this bull because that's something special to me. We're still tracking this bull. We're leaving some markers so we can pick this trail up back in the morning. It's about 9.40, about an hour and a half since we shot the bull, hour and 40 minutes. We've been following his blood trail pretty diligently. I was gonna notch my tag regardless. We were gonna come in, come in on him in the morning. <laughs> but Logan shined the light of heaven about 30 yards downhill. And there's a bull on the ground, my first. September 5th. It's hard to have words for moments like these, so I won't try. I don't want to cry. These videos aren't about crying, right? <laughs> Let's go find this freaking bull. Nice. It's through the other side. Came through the other side? Yeah. Nice. Worked its way through. Nice job, Mark. <laughs> Holy crap. With this line here in my hands, will I do my best? Will I try to take a stand? Will I do my part and open up my heart? Well, it's 2 a.m. and we're almost to camp. But we're washing, washing the meat in the creek, cooling it down the rest of the way before we go back. Whew. Get hot, man. Cheers. It just paid off, but it's the decisions that you make. You make your best guesses in hunting and. You get a little luck on your side, and every once in a while, you take home a bull. World a better place to be. With a humble heart, I will do my best.